In this video, we're going to be discussing how to fix lazy eye by reviewing the different treatment strategies used to improve vision loss from amblyopia. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes and vision. And if you yourself like to take care of your eyes and see your best, then consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Now, naturally, after somebody is diagnosed with having lazy eye, or again, the medical term for lazy eye, which is amblyopia, they're often questioning, okay, well, now how do we treat the eye so then it starts to see better? And thankfully, there are several different strategies that we can use to help the eye see better after that diagnosis. As mentioned in my previous video about lazy eye, these treatment strategies do typically work better in young children, particularly when they are under the age of about eight or nine years old, while the brain still has more neuroplasticity. That's the brain's ability to grow, change, and learn new things. Despite that, however, there are reported cases and many studies showing that older children and even some adults will have improved visual outcomes utilizing these different treatment strategies. Now, before we dive right into it, I do want to give you this word of warning. Do not attempt to diagnose or treat lazy eye or amblyopia without management or guidance from an eye care professional. Because lazy eye is largely a neurological condition, there is the potential to overshoot or overtreat it and therefore cause more damage than good. I went to school for eight years plus residency, so I know what I'm talking about. The treatment strategies that we use are often tailored and personalized based on the type and severity of the condition, but they often involve a combination of these following treatments. One would be some form of glasses or other optical correction. Two would be some form of patching or occlusion therapy. Three would be vision therapy, also known as VT, or some form of eye surgery. In most cases, the first goal of amblyopia treatment is to equalize the visual signal of each eye, and we can do that through an updated glasses prescription. Oftentimes, this requires what's called a cycloplegic refraction, where we'll use eye drops in the clinic to re fully relax the eye muscles internally inside the eye. And this will help the doctor get a better understanding of the full visual demand of each of the eyes. However, using these drops does take a little bit more time, so expect that this type of exam may take longer than your typical routine eye exam. Thankfully, in many of these cases, amblyopia will improve with just glasses glasses prescription alone. And that's why doctors will often start off prescribing glasses and then having someone like a child come back several weeks later to verify and check on the visual acuity to see if things have leveled out. But for much more deep-seated cases where one eye is much worse than the other eye and it's not getting better with just glasses alone, we'll often prescribe some type of eye patching. You'll see kids wearing eye patches or perhaps they'll be treated with atropine eye drops to blur vision or using some other penalization technique to penalize the better seeing eye, which will force that person to use their other weaker eye and that will help build stronger neural connections in the visual cortex to really enhance the vision, again, in that weaker eye. I know some of you are probably thinking, wow, it's 2020 and we're still using eye patching to treat this condition. But the truth is, when done properly and consistently, it works. For many cases of amblyopia, there's not just a huge benefit of wearing glasses and using patching, but also from doing what's called vision therapy. Vision therapy is very similar to that of physical therapy for somebody who has had a leg injury or maybe a stroke, where vision therapy involves a lot of eye exercises and games to help eye teaming and build more neural connections in the visual cortex of the brain. The people who go through vision therapy not only typically experience faster results, but also experience deeper seated recovery than those individuals who don't receive vision therapy. Unfortunately, vision therapy is something that's not offered through every eye clinic and is usually not covered by insurance. One alternative you could look into are at-home based eye exercise programs. One I know of is called AmblyoPlay. That's a program that I know eye clinics use specifically so they can give out eye homework, which can be tracked over time so they can see that you're actually having progress and that you're doing those eye exercises. It's something that I do want to note eye exercises or vision therapy done through an in-office based vision therapy program have been shown in studies to have more success than just doing eye exercises at home alone. However, again, it is something you can look into. The makers of AmblyoPlay did give me a discount code to share with my viewers. So if it's something you did want to look more into, you can use this code here at checkout to save 15%. 
But again, it is super important to only treat amblyopia through the management of an eye care professional. And thankfully, many clinics are starting to adapt this online sort of vision therapy program. And lastly, in the case of strabismic amblyopia, where a person may have an eye turn that's turning inward, for example, many of those cases do often improve with glasses, patching, or vision therapy. But in severe cases, these individuals often will need some form of an eye surgery, such as strabismus surgery. In those cases, that patient is often referred to an ophthalmologist who specializes in pediatrics or in strabismus surgery in general. So eye health question of the day, have you ever been treated for or lazy eye? If so, let us know what kind of treatments you've undergone. Was it patching? Was it vision therapy? What was your experience? Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. If so, smash that like button for me and share it with a friend or family, somebody who would benefit from this message. Again, this is Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, helping you with the eyes and vision. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon. Oh, look at the cute little kitty in the background. Zelda! Oh, you're just gonna sit there the whole time, aren't you? Everyone meet Zelda. She's super cute. She sleeps most of the day, but she also likes to be in the video sometimes.